17, might be 18, but I think it's 17, which means we're uh, coming a long way on this build. I'm um, just getting over a cold, so I figured it was time to kind of dig in the attic, get some uh, old car parts, and uh, make a video or something. So when I sold the transmission from this car, I had a, a Muncie M20, um, it was a uh, manual, and my plans are to go with a 700 R4. Um, transmission that's going to be automatic. So when um, I sold the transmission, I realized I still have the um, the brake and the clutch under the steering wheel, and I called uh, Mr. Impala off of Instagram. If you don't follow him, I highly recommend you do. But I was like, bro, send me a single pedal brake setup, and so he did. And today I just plan on reconditioning it um, to get it looking brand new again. Um, eventually I'll order a new brake pedal sensor, uh, put a new pad on it. Um, but today I went to Harbor Freight and I bought the cheapest sand blaster that they have. Um, go figure the sand is three times the price of what a sand blaster is, but that's America for you. Got some gloves. And I just plan on doing a quick little video um, getting this ready for paint. I'll probably paint it black and uh, put some gloss on it and it looking brand new. So stick around and uh, we'll get the ball rolling. sending sand down the tube. It clogs from pretty much here to the gun. You just feel it fill up with sand and you have to like bang it on stuff and you know, it kind of sucks, but I'll be taking this hose off and getting a uh, high quality hose, one with uh, kink resistant or whatever. But it did exactly what I needed. Uh, I got the whole thing um, really good. Got all the surface rust off really clean so now it's ready for uh, a sealant and some black shiny paint and ready to be put back together and wait for its day to go back in the car so we'll move on from here and uh, seal it up and get it painted
All right, guys, quick little uh, close up. This thing's looking really nice. I have to uh, order a brake pad tonight. And 90% uh, of this is never gonna be seen. It's all gonna be hidden under the dash. But you know me, can't do anything average. So um, I found one of the black paints that we had and it has a super, super micro flake in it. It's a blue flake. So, you know, I just had to add a special little touch to it. The only thing that's ever gonna be seen is this arm. And um, I'm gonna order a new brake pad tonight. But I think it came out really nice considering this thing was covered in rust this morning. So I'll let it dry tonight. Tomorrow we'll uh, wrap it in bubble wrap and throw it in the trunk with all the other parts that are ready to go in the car. Well guys, that's another episode. And I think it came out pretty good. Um, if you remember, this episode started with this thing covered in rust and uh, sandblasted. I've wanted that sandblast there for probably a year now. So I figured I'd go buy it today and uh, give this thing a little test, see how it came out. And I think it came out perfect. I still have some things on the car I want to sandblast, uh, door jams and uh, little things like that. But um, I just want to put a little episode together and uh, Hey, I apologize on the break of videos, but I'm trying to get the ball rolling. I'm just waiting on two shops, one shop to uh, call me and say, man, we're ready for it, send it over. And I could uh, load up the trailer and send one of my parts over that way. And then I'm um, waiting on another shop to call me with a ballpark figure of everything that it's gonna take to get the car ready. And then I can put the car on the trailer and send it to them, cut them a check and um, we keep building this car. So, I just wanna say thank you for watching this episode and uh, see you in the next one. Appreciate you guys, thanks again.